Hi friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video I just want to give a breakdown of how to do a liquid lighting inside of Blender. So I'm currently recording this for our course where we go through building this complete scene and I just wanted to show you how to create this uh, liquid lighting in the background here and it's a really simple way to do it, really effective and it creates this really nice result that can we can control so if I have a look at the scene over here we can move this around and control the way that the light works in our scene and it's really cool so basically if we turn it off I've got a liquid light over here you can see it's quite uh, plain and so we have got a little bit of light spilling in from the background here we just got a, an area light pointing at the background, super small, and it's set over here to a disc and just a little light and we've dropped the spread down so that it hits the background and gives this nice little uh, lighting in the background. So that's also pouring a little bit of light in and these two lights here will be also pouring a little bit of light into the liquid. Now it does look a little bit funny with the little bottle here but um, we'll build the full bottle in the course and so what I'll do here now is check on the liquid lighting here and basically how it's set up is there's a plane and there's an area light and so basically what I can do is just uh, hide everything and I'll show you how to set this one up and so if we add a plane shift a we'll add a plane I'll just check this for you guys so that you can see what's going on with the shortcuts. So we add a plane, then we'll go shift A and we'll add a light in. It's just an area light and we can just shift this area light just above the plane and you can already see what's happening here. What it does is act like what's called a scrim in photography terms or a modifier and so a modifier is anything that changes the way light will interact with a surface. So we've got a light source here and the modifier what happens is our light source has got properties to it so colors and all sorts of that stuff so it's got a color, power, it's also got um, a spread set to it and basically the modifier in photography terms modifies the way that the light will work now currently it's just a plane so what we can do is add a new material here we'll call this one diffuse or something a scrim or something like that or you could call it a light modifier whatever suits you and whatever you're going to remember we'll delete the principled bsdf We'll go shift A, we'll search for a translucent BSDF. And so this now will plug into the surface and that will make this surface um, react to the light. So you can see here that the light is coming through, except it is... Uh, have any effect on the light and so we can use this now to create all sorts of lights so I can move this back and the further I move this back the bright bigger and the softer that this will become and so this is part of inverse square law and some other complicated stuff in photography um, but it's not anything that's crucial to understand all the technical stuff but the further that we move this light away, the more light we will have to bump this up. So I will have to bump this up to probably 30 or something like that to get the same amount of light as having it here. And that's just the way that light works. But basically what we can do with this now is we can control this. So let's say I would like it to be a bit more of a strip light. So for a bottle, we want to create uh, a light that is similar to the shape of the bottle. So in this case, we would go scale this on the Y or the X, whichever direction we can spin this around. 
and I can scale it up on the Y there and we can create something like this where it's this strip light that has a fall off and so if I move this closer I can have less fall off another thing I could adjust is my spread here my beam so adjust that to 45 and I have a really small fall off keep that at 180 and we have a larger fall off and then when I move this away I have an even larger fall off but basically what I can do is move this back a bit and then what I did was moved it I scaled it down so it's a bit littler and then we can move this on the x-axis over to the side and so you can see now that we've got this fall off happening like this we can also change the way that the light is facing if we wanted so I could say I want to rotate it on the Y just to point it that direction a little bit more and now what you can do is select both of these and select the plane holding shift hang on so that the plane is the orange object and it's a lighter orange then we can go control or command P and we can go uh, set parent to object so now I can move this plane around and control it and I can also then also control this separately from the plane and so we can move this plane into position and start lighting our scene and so then what you do is move the plane into the background I'm just going to hide this also move this into the background so you can see this setup here like so and I'll just uh, quickly show what it's doing so in here I have up in this option I have it turned off for camera there and so I've positioned in a way that's got a slight fall off it's really soft lighting so that means pull it away from the scrim or the plane here and I've set it up so it's got about 50 watt it's quite bright and you can set it up in the background and by default area lights won't show up in the camera but we also want, don't want this to show up in our camera so when I turn on the rest of the scene here you'll see that in here if I go zero look straight on you can see that this is showing up in our scene so then I can come into the object data properties here and all the object properties and come down to the visibility the ray visibility and uncheck it for camera so that will just say I don't want to view this in my camera and so there you go so then you can play around with this position of the light you can also adjust the area light in the background and that will change the way that the light hits the liquid in the background all right i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's a bit of a short one but i hope that you found it useful if you have any suggestions for more tutorials put them down in the comments below i read them and there's a chance that i will build a scene around it and create a tutorial for it if you're interested in learning this a bit more in depth I do have a course which goes over multiple scenes and I'm adding new content and new projects all the time so it's very project based it's designed to build a portfolio and so uh, currently we're looking at products uh, more graphic design products like your packaging box designs and of course your label designs here but in the future we'll be going into further things like um, modeling cosmetic products modeling tech products i'd love to do smartphone and it all get released to my course before i release the free content to youtube and not everything will get released to youtube so if you're interested you can go check that out of course i'm more than happy for you to stay here and just enjoy the free content all right i hope to see you next time and until then i'll see you later